tonight, we also have, uh, <laughs> well, we've got uh, unboxing also is going the conspiracy theory route that uh, Oklahoma and Texas aren't going to be treated the best uh, on the field by the officials this year. We will wait and see how that plays out. I've got to think, I got to think that it's going to be uh, pretty straightforward out there, but who knows, there might be a call or two that, uh, mm -hmm. that is going to be called into question, but I'm certainly not going to go down that path, nor do I think that that's going to take place. Uh, I think the, the schedule gave us an idea that they didn't do anything egregious against Oklahoma or Texas in putting together their final Big 12 schedule. So I, I think things are going to be on the up and up. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Yeah, I would agree. I don't think that that's – I mean, there was I mean, there was some thoughts that that was happening like last year, maybe even the year before. Um, well, I mean, certainly last year. And so – but I, I think – um, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I wouldn't really see anything that would lend me to think that that would be, that would happen. Yeah. As, uh, Dr. C's pointing out here, yeah, it was kind of odd because Arkansas joined the SEC in 1992 and they immediately, the league put Arkansas and LSU in the final weekend of the season against each other. And so that lasted for 20 years where they would play on Black Friday, and then Texas A&M joined, and they switched it up, and they wanted to match up Texas A&M and LSU. And those two teams had obvious – they had uh, actually played quite a bit in their history, even as non-conference uh, teams. The, the two campuses are rather close. And uh, over the last – it would be 11 seasons now, it's been – Texas A&M and LSU the final weekend of the season, even though Dr. C does not consider that a rivalry, nor uh, in, in flipping out, switching out Arkansas out of that matchup with LSU. They pinned Arkansas and Missouri. Missouri was just kind of hanging out there with really no attachment to the rest of the SEC. So Arkansas was the, the natural fit there to try to do something. And again, Arkansas, Missouri, do I consider that a rivalry? Not really, no. The SEC has pushed it. And again, for the last 11 seasons, they've played on the final weekend. So, yeah, the SEC is going to protect the current rivalries. They're going to try to project what should be rivalries. Nebraska, Iowa is another one the Big Ten has tried to push forward. And I can't really say whether that's been successful or not. Nebraska has obviously not been a good football team, right. so it's kind of difficult to have a rivalry that that's that's kind of a manufactured rivalry uh, that's going to be taken seriously or going to be uh, intriguing for fan bases if one of the teams is not competitive. So, yeah, we will see how that plays out. Um, 